consumer alert tonight about a popular money app. You may want to grab your phone for this story, especially if you use Venmo to send or get money from friends. Scammers have found a way to clean out your bank account within a matter of seconds. Tonight, Ken Erdahl has the simple things you can do to protect your cash. And let us know if you use apps like Venmo in tonight's poll. Venmo makes it easy to do things like split a tab or send money to a friend with your phone. One of my roommates does all the shopping because he has a car, so we all pay him back with Venmo usually. U of M student Paul McGregor uses the app at least once a week, but he hadn't heard about a new Venmo scam that's generating consumer warnings in cities and on campuses across the country. This guy that looks like a student comes up, asks to use my, uh, one of our phones. So I was like, sure, it's no problem. The man used his phone and went on his way. But what the student didn't see was that in seconds he'd used his Venmo app to take money out of his account. It's like, might as well check my bank account just to see how much I still got for the weekends. There it was, just $100 missing. I could see where that wouldn't be something I would immediately expect. Like, I, I would be more willing than not to let someone borrow my phone. In each case, the suspects exploit the kindness of strangers along with Venmo's default security setting, which does not require a PIN number, allowing for transfers in seconds. Yeah, it definitely doesn't have to be, like, a long time. You wouldn't really notice it. Now, the good news is protecting yourself is pretty easy. All you have to do is open the Venmo app on your phone. Once inside, look up here. That's where you're going to trigger a drop down menu so that you can get in to your settings at the bottom. Inside your settings options, just scroll down a bit and you'll see the touch ID and pin option. Toggle that switch and now you're ready to enter a passcode, which will be required each time money is sent. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Now I got one. Perfect. It really is pretty easy, and even though a PIN number takes a bit of extra time, it is especially important on Venmo because once cash is sent and accepted, it is gone. Unlike a bank or other payment method, the company itself notes that it does not have fraud protection for buyers or sellers. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Kent.